Who do I have with me today? My name is Dwayne Hughes. I'm with Pop and Top. Don Burns, pleased to meet you. Nice thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. Hey, my pleasure, my pleasure. And thank you, Cohash, for letting me use this room. Perfect. So, yeah. Pop and yes, Toffee? Yes, sir. What yes, is Pop and Toffee? So, Pop and Toffee, we're a, um, uh, a company. We make butter toffee popcorn. Well, actually, we make, we're a butter toffee company, and popcorn is one of the lines. We've got some other lines coming soon. Where did the uh, the toffee come from? Where is it a family secret or something? Well, no. So uh, actually, this is a reboot of something I started about 14, 15 years ago with my ex-wife. You know, you know, and so we we did the business, but we couldn't really work well together. Ended up running out of money and shutting it down. But and so um, a couple of years ago, after COVID, or the, right after COVID, actually, um, I was terminated from my employer because I wouldn't take the COVID shot. Oh, good for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, and so uh, on my way out, he asked me, well, Dwayne, where are you gonna go? You know, what are you gonna do? Because no one's hiring without the COVID shot. And I was in car sales, I was selling a luxury dealer. And, um, <clears throat> and I said, well, this is the last time I'm gonna give someone the opportunity to fire me. Right? Good for you, good for you. Well, those words were hard to, eat because there were times I was broker than broke. I was behind broke, man. And I know I, that I, feeling I, well. I wanted to eat those words. I really did, but I just couldn't. That that, that kind of sealed it for me. And so I went back to the drawing board, started looking at what I had, and one of them was this idea was sitting in the back of my mind. And so I started formulating and putting it together again to, to do it again. And, uh, and, I, and I had to experiment, you know, creating all new recipes and from scratch. and. And really, I probably have a couple hundred hours in just experimentation. Just you, you mind know. if I try one? Sure, sure. And sure. that's how I ran into you as you uh, you starting to sell them here locally. Yes, yeah, sir. So we've got uh, right now we sell online at poppintoffee.com, and then also I have a couple retailers uh, that carry it uh, here in Lakeland. One is um, the Bodega Market, which was my first retailer, and the second is uh, Take Heart Africa. Um, who's also here in downtown Lakeland. And so when we met, I was getting, passing out samples. That's right. And yeah. you approached me and said, hey, you want to try one? Yeah. Freaking delicious. How'd you like it? Is yeah, it you, I bought some on, right, on the spot. I was yeah. like, that is so good. And I took it home, my daughter, she loves them. Freaking delicious, man. Freaking delicious. Topping, you said poppintoffee.com. Pop and poppintoffee.com. Pop mm -hmm. And then uh, we've got uh, different real estate, real, um, not realtors, uh, what is it, uh, uh, different retailers. Uh, we're going to start wholesaling into you as well. Oh, that's right. And you got your start. You, where do you make them? So we um, we're actually located out of um, um, Catapult here in Lakeland. So we're we're a kitchen member, mm. and we have an office in the workspace. So we do everything out of Catapult. I actually started it almost a year ago, about a year ago, in my garage. And so all last summer, I was cooking in 100 plus degree heat oh in the my. garage, you know, over heat, over fire, you know, and um, it was probably 110 degrees in there sometimes. And, um, and you know, just kind of getting it started. And, and so I've basically been full time with it since June, right around Father's Day. Wow. Yeah. And it's right after COVID when I started buying in Lakeland too as well. Yeah. And that COVID changed a lot of things. It did. It's like it did. brought the entrepreneur spirit in yes. everybody, especially yes. around here. Yes. So, where are you originally from, if you don't mind me asking? Well, I was born in New Jersey, but I grew up in Florida from the oh. age of five. So. Florida, so you're a Florida native. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so you've been going since June, mm -hmm. and... So, interestingly enough, so to get this business started, I have a friend of mine who sells roses and car dealerships, and he says, like, man, you need to go and take these. I tried to get him to sell my product with his roses. I had him in gift bags and everything. Right. And he was like, no, nah, man, you got to sell your own product. You know, he said, but, you know, take them out of the gift bags, go sell them to the, in the to people in dealerships. You know, you're from the dealership industry. I did that for over 20 years. You know the environment. Okay. Don't sell to the customers, just the employees, you know, keep them get, stepping on toes. And so I did that. I've got customers all the way from uh, Tampa, all the wow. way to Sanford, you know. Um, and that's how we were able to get the business going. When I say we, I have a couple people that work in it with me. Um, and so, you know, that's where we got the cash flow, you know, keep it going. I would sell direct to people, which was cool because when you meet someone and they try it, you know, you get immediate feedback. That's right. You know if it's good or not, you know. And so uh, I'm pretty confident now when I hand somebody a sample, you know. the You, you know. know. 
Yeah. All I got to do is yeah. let them try it. Yeah. That's probably the hardest part is getting them to try it. Yes. And you know, the funny thing is I figured out something that if, you, if, um, if, I mean, you don't pressure them in trying, just offer and give them that smile. There you yeah, go. I got something. Yeah. You know, I got something that you want. You know, I know something you don't know. That's the smile. <laughs> there you go. I know something you don't know. So it might be easy to find somebody with a frown on her face or a little, Bleh. hey, make yeah. it feel good. Here's yeah. magic. Yeah. And so I, I say, you want to try a sample? And I kind of give them that smile, you know. And if they say, nah, I say, you're going to miss me. And yeah. I just walk away, you know. And then a lot of times they come back, you know, especially after they see a couple other people. And, I, and one of the things that's been great is a lot of times the people who buy my product, they just start sharing with everybody. Yeah, you know that's that's really cool. And uh, and right now we have a hundred percent five star rating uh, everywhere on our website. Oh, chocolate. Yeah, yeah. So now I've got different flavors with me here today. Yeah, tell me some of the different this, flavors. This is, so I've got the light, and like if you look on the website, we've got the light and the OG. So this is the light, which, which is means light. This thinner coat of our toffee. This is a ninety to hundred calories a serving. Okay. Right. And it's got the milk chocolate with pecan. So it's got ribbons of chocolate on top. Yeah. And then it's sprinkled, chocolate. And then it's sprinkled with roasted and salted pecans. Now these are, they got melted so they don't have the perfect appearance as we do on the back. Typically they do. But you'll get the taste. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's the light milk chocolate pecan. Really, really good. Thank you. I've never seen anything. I've never seen anything. You know, you got the caramel corn that you buy from the store, mm -hmm. Cracker Jacks. Uh -huh. You know, you, you taste that. You know, as a kid, you like them. It's addictive. Yes. Now, so what a lot of people don't know about is butter toffee. It's, it's caramel, but it's all natural. It's made with butter, sugar, just natural ingredients. Real simple. Uh, butter, sugar, and some spices. And, and it's... Um, uh, and it's basically a delicacy, you know, and it's car basically caramel, natural caramel taken to the highest level mm -hmm. is what you do when you get but make butter toffee, right? It's very expensive to make, it's not cheap, it's easy to burn. You wouldn't believe, so we've got to get it up over 300 degrees, right? To a point where it's ready to, to crystallize when it cools, but you got to get it there without burning it. And it's just like, you know, you're, 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 a minute to a few seconds from burning it. Wow. Right? You I notice that it, it keeps its integrity, the shape. Like Cracker Jacks is all a ball, like it's gone through a machine or something. This in, has its integrity of the yeah. corner. How okay. the heck? All right, so I'll show you this. So we have our own process that we use to make these. Mm -hmm. Whereas if you want to show this to the camera, we have our own process that we take these through. So. Most companies that do anything with popcorn, they put them in these tumblers. That's what I'm talking about, yeah. Uh, they put them in a tumbler type thing, and it, and it basically it rounds off all the corners and makes it into the round balls. It looks like a giant popcorn gumball kind of thing. And that's okay, but it doesn't, it doesn't look, it's, that, that's the easy way to do it. But what we do is we have a special process whereby we separate these things at 300 degrees by hand so that they, it resembles the popcorn yeah. that you have yeah. uh, when you make it at home. It's yeah. not it's not corporate with all this fast stuff. This is taking time, delicate, yes. and you yes. you know each treat is going to be fantastic. Yes, yes. we we we, uh, we hand make every batch. Hand know? make, mm -hmm. wow. and so it's a it's a whole process. I mean, we may automate. We have we'll have to automate as we grow. But we're you know the main thing is to if we can keep the integrity. If we if we can never. If, if, if at some point we have to get volume up to where we change the process and we can't do the get the same appearance, we won't do that. We'll just have to figure out a way to hire more people. Well, if we can do it, and people can order at poppintoffee.com. Yes, yeah, so you can order on our website, poppintoffee.com. We've got um, basically over the next few days we'll have it updated, but we have currently about 17 flavors. That's fantastic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. I highly recommend them. Highly recommend. Delicious. <laughs> Thank you so much, Dwayne. I appreciate, appreciate your time. Thank you so much. Have a fantastic day. God, God bless. bless. God bless, brother.